So the eve of a new season, are you ready to go? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's been a good week in training. Um, the lads are really upbeat, positive and can't wait to get going now. How would you feel about the progress then that you've made this pre-season? Yes, yeah, good. It's been a positive pre-season, as tough as we've ever uh, given the lads, to be honest, both in the physical workload and, and the games and opposition they've, they've had to face. So when you take into consideration quite wholesale changes to the squad, um, it's been quite challenging, but I think the last three performances and the, the, have been positive and uh, the results have also suggested an upward curve as well. You deliberately picked some tough opposition. You, you've said this before you know, in the post-match of, of the games that you've played so far. So do you feel that you have benefited from doing that? I like to think so, yes, because we have uh, increased um, our sort of productivity on the pitch, you know, in terms of the cohesion of the lads, you know, working together. Um, we've created more chances in the last few games uh, and um, probably denied the opposition more opportunities to score as well. So that's the aim for us, you know, we keep it simple here. Um, we're going to make sure that we're hard to beat this year. We conceded too many goals last season. Um, but overall, yeah, I think it's, whilst it's been hard at times against the likes of Rotherham and Sheffield Wednesday and, and really challenging, um, the lads have, have passed the test. You said about the turnover of players, we'll look at that in a second, but is there a change at all in the style of the Harrogate town we'll see on the pitch this year? Um, not entirely, but we've all got to grow up a bit, you know, this is the Football League and we've had a real insight now for two years, we know it's, it's challenging at times um, to go full tilt at it, um, full throttle as in our attacking play for 90 minutes um, probably isn't uh, viable, you know, and uh, it's been quite testing that for a small squad over the last couple of years and therefore there's been gaps, you know, in passages of play, but now we're trying to be a bit more um, thoughtful at, at times, um, you know, when and give up a little bit of uh, of space on the pitch to make us uh, recovery runs more sensible and make sure we we consolidate, you know, certain areas of the pitch and and make it more predictable for the defenders. You know, I, I think we got counter attacked on too much last year that there were too many gaps because we were a little bit gung ho. So let's look at your squad and how that fits in. Um, a, a big turnover, really. Just just talk us through the changes that you've made. Yeah, I think obviously we were reflecting throughout last season uh, and um, you know, there was no getting away from it. Defensively, we weren't good enough. So we looked at um, how how we could revamp it, you know, both individually and, and first of all, we started with the shape, you know, and, and looked at the shape of our team and, and then looked at the players, you know, round pegs, round holes, you know, that fitted uh, the bill in each of those positions we needed to, to sort out. So um, we brought in, there's more youth about us as a squad, but also at the same time it's been quite challenging bringing in more pedigree as well which was necessary you know we, we looked a little bit raw for the level at times last year but hopefully there's more uh, flexibility you know within our squad now to be able to tweak it and change when necessary even within games um, but overall we're, we're happy with the recruitment. Maybe not the fairest question to ask you overall happy was there anything that you really wanted that you've not been able to get? No, not at all. You know, we've, we've been um, competitive in the marketplace. It, it's um, it's been a graft this summer, uh, as you'd expect. It's, it would be a graft if you only needed to bring in three or four players. But the quantity we have brought in it has led to wholesale changes, and and that's quite demanding. You know, with the coverage you have to watch uh, throughout your recruitment team. Obviously, we've brought Lloyd in as well with that now. Um, but we've got to make sure you know we get the, those right players, and uh, and also the right people, you know, because Harrogate, the fans have got used to 100 percenters out there on the pitch and you can't undervalue that quality. So what we don't want are any prima donnas and no egos, you know, stripping onto the park and thinking, well, I'm a football league player, you know, I just have to run when I want to, you know, it's a, it's a collective effort still. It evolves though, doesn't it, a team? So you're still in the market keeping your eye out constantly of, of who, what or might improve that side? Yes, uh, I'm sure there might be a couple that drop in, uh, you know, whether it's our price range or just the right cup of tea, really. You know, by the end of the transfer window, um, we can snatch it, a couple and make the wrong decisions and then use up all the budget, uh, what's remaining of it. Um, but lots of things will happen, you know, in the first, the first month of the season. And with that, players might drop out of favour or um, they might not be quite the right fit for their teams and that might be in League One in Championship and then suddenly 
a player has to prioritise and whether he wants to stick on a contract and sit it out in the stands or, or whether he wants to actually really earn the living the proper way by doing, it, doing his talking on the pitch. And we'd hope for that hungry type that might drop in. But at the same time, we want to give opportunities to our squad and we know it's not quite padded out as much as we'd like yet. Um, but they're in the driving seat, you know, the lads who are starting the season in the squad with us and obviously we all wish them well. You're big on team spirit. You've mentioned about bringing in the right personality. New players coming in, still got a core of, of, of older players as well. How have they blended together? Yeah, superbly well. You know, we went to Loughborough, uh, like most teams have a, a little excursions. It's not quite Portugal or Tenerife, but it, it was down the road at, at Loughborough. And it was about just you know, the group showing great resilience together and, and encouraging each other. And there was it was really testing, you know, some of the gruelling runs they were on. And there's no substitute for the hard work, but also, you know, I'm trying to observe that the lads clicking together as a group, and there's a lot of evidence to suggest, you know, they're all getting on really well. So let's look at things for the first game of the season. I know Josh Farkingham isn't available yet because of injury. Is everyone else fit? Have you got a full full contingent to pick from? Well, we've got the three out. Obviously, Max um, Wright has, has been very unlucky on his debut getting injured. Got Rory McArdle still missing, nearing, you know, to uh, fit, getting nearer to fitness, and Josh Falcon started running. So which uh, actually just that has, has lifted us all. Um, so just the three missing, um, but we'll have a, a full squad uh, in terms of we'll be able to complete the bench uh, at the weekend, which is a good start. <laughs> Always, <laughs> and the, t the, the 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 first game of the season for you, Swindon at home. That's a big one, isn't it, to get going with. Yeah, they don't get much bigger, do they? I mean, they reached the playoffs, um, semi-final stage last last season, and um, they're a strong outfit, aren't they? You know, historically played at the top level. They've got uh, so they've got some good quality players, and it'll be a test. Um, but for this week, you know, we just try to inform the lads of what to expect. You know, in terms of their style of play and and how they like to keep the ball and get into key areas, and how we might negate their strengths. But also, you know, for the remainder of the week from from end of Tuesday onwards, it's about freeing up some headspace so the lads can just let it go and enjoy it and uh, hopefully we can come out bouncing um, out of the changing rooms and, and really make a good job of it on Saturday. And I guess that first game is always about your team and you learning about your players in a proper match situation as well. That's right, I think first and foremost, you know, just really try and keep it simple. You know, we have to be really competitive and if they're thinking too, too, about too many details, you can distract them from actual the real desire, you know, is winning the game, you know, and um, it's us against them, isn't it? In, in every every game, and we know we're we're, we're probably ranked amongst the, the poorer teams in a lot of people's minds and bookmakers' minds, but that can that can help be a motivating factor, and we love it, you know, at Harrogate Town being what we are, and and um, and trying to continually evolve and get better, and we've got the right attitude in terms of in the building still. Um, to keep that dynamic. Evolve, you use the word progress quite a lot, so what would success look like for you this season? Well, I, I would think it has to be um, a steadier, more mature season than last year, you know, where it was a roller coaster ride, you know, and um, it was quite telling that first game. I mean, listen, it might be a roller coaster ride on Saturday because there's a lot of adrenaline in people's uh, systems, but it was a roller coaster ride, very much so, you know, at the start of last year in the first game, and that was probably a sign of things to come, you know, where there were some real highs, that because we were so attack and then defend, it was it became like a basketball game, and we need a bit more control. So we need, from a footballing perspective, performance-wise, we need a bit more maturity in our play, knowing when to keep it, knowing when to press with intensity, and when just to drop off and, and, and solidify our shape. And then went to spring into action because when we did spring into action last year, we looked quite devastating going forwards. Um, but we left gaps, and so we've got to do it from the right areas. And hopefully, then the output in terms of points um, will, pre will prove to have a, a successful side.